We are used to thinking of food as fuel, but food is more than just energy. Food is also information. Imagine preparing for a road trip. You fill the car up with gas, but also look up information about the route and the weather. Our bodies also need energy and data. Energy to fuel cellular processes and data to navigate a fast-changing environment. Both the energy and the information content in food are critical. But until recently, we only focused on the first. So how exactly is food used as information? How does this all work? Components of food, like nutrients and their breakdown products, can turn off or on or dial up or down genetic switches inside cells. Like the switches in your house control how much light comes out of the bulb, genetic switches control how much of a gene product is made. Gene products influence cells in many ways, including how they grow, divide, move, and send and receive signals to other cells. Because of this, the messages in food can shape our physiology in profound ways. These messages depend on the types of nutrients contained in food. For example, folates, found in meat and fish, can turn off genetic switches, while sugars can turn them on or off. Some of these messages don't just come from the food we consume, but also from what that food consumed previously. For example, breast milk or animal or even plant products. What's more, unlike the part of food that is fuel, the part that is information does not burn away with time. This information can remain etched in our genes for a lifetime or even a few. Indeed, studies found that the food grandparents ate as adolescents could influence the lifespan and even disease risk of grandchildren. Although there is still so much to discover about the type and effects of food as information, one thing is clear. The messages inside our food may be more relevant than those we receive daily about food. Like, eat this and not that. By learning about these and eating mindfully, we can empower our communities to live healthier and happier lives.